So it's Friday. This is honestly just a continuance from the last vlog. Like it's the next day. So you guys know, like, I'm not sure, you know, did I quit my job? I'm not sure. But what I do know is that I took today as mental health day. With that being said, I'm gonna head over to my leasing office, like, and use their business center to record today. So probably be over at the leasing office for about the next five hours they open at nine it's like 8 55 right now so i'm gonna get over there as soon as they open i do want to record a video for this channel because the girlies over on tiktok were asking me about how i grew my quads um and i was going to make a video about that and i have a q and a that i want to do and i kind of want to go ahead and do those first and then do work for my other channel but it makes sense for me to do it the other way around I like to write out like outlines of what I'm going to talk about so I just don't be rambling because y'all know I can ramble on and on and get off topic today is another lower carb day for me because y'all know I'm carb cycling this is my third lower carb day like moderate to low carb day in a row and I don't normally do three days back to back it's normally like two and then a high carb but we did not strength train on Wednesday because we could we did we overslept first and foremost because we only had three hours of sleep so it was like I well I didn't oversleep I woke up and alarm off but I was like we cannot go lift off three hours of sleep so I just set the alarm for like a regular time and then we tried that evening but it's just not the same like I used to love working out in the evenings but I just can't get with it anymore what about y'all do y'all prefer morning sessions evening sessions or like even midday like on your lunch break sessions what do y'all prefer when it comes to working out I like to get up and get at it early in the morning I'm so excited for tomorrow, which is Saturday, because it's a high carb day. Yay. But I'm feeling super, super lean. Like this morning I woke up, I felt super lean. And it's just so crazy how your body reacts to like playing with carbs. So I know tomorrow when I have a high carb day, like sometimes it like, because it fills up like my muscles and then I'm like, it's popping. It's really poppy, you know? So I'm excited to see what it looks like. I probably should stop my car, honestly, because I haven't driven it in a few days and I think it's cold out. It's 47 degrees. So let's start my car. Okay, hey guys, so I made it over here. Um, they're actually doing some paintings. So I don't know how long I'm actually being here. And I'm a little disappointed because I think I forgot. Well, I know I forgot my mic for my bigger camera and I think I, don't have the right lens either so like is this going to be productive at all but i'm going to show you everything i have to do this is everything that was in my darn bag water of course my bigger camera which let's see if i have the right lens oh no this is perfect i have my cscs book and a notebook my mac timer a red bull in case it looks tired my external hard drive and my sd converter thingy <laughs> a little snacky snack a kind bar headphones and a pen oops oh my gosh um obviously i'm not going to be able to record for this video today because they're <laughs> And not for this video, for this channel today because it's actually kind of noisy in here today. Hey y'all, I'm checking in with you. So it's, actually I don't know what time it is, hold on. It's 12.22 p.m. so I just got done recording but i'm starving i probably need to eat my kind bar i have to use the restroom like it's not for me to go home i also have a friend coming over at two something maybe at like three o'clock so i need to get back just to finish straightening up i don't know how my boyfriend managed to do it this morning but he cleaned the bathroom everything except for the sink and like the um like the top of the sink the, uh, the counter so i'm gonna go back and clean that i don't know when he found time to do it this morning before work and i probably like of course sweep and stuff in there but do that and throw in some laundry before she gets here. And then I have to train at 
30. Yeah. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Very productive session. Well, I'll come along anyway. It felt really, really good to get out of the house and do work like somewhere else other than at my desk. Man, it's windy out here. It's always weird when people see me like vlogging, but I just gotta pretend like I don't see them. See them seeing me, you know? Okay, I know you're sideways, but that's gonna have to do for now. Can you guys see me? Okay. I feel like yeah, I can. It's okay. So I ordered some more faded, faded, some more faded um, topicals. I literally, literally just threw my other one away this morning. I squeezed all the Aka squares out of that thing. So this is perfect time that it came today. All right, so I wanted to try this because I need a new exfoliant. And, well, I don't need a new one, but I wanted to try a different one. This is Derma, oh, Dermalogical. <laughs> This is pretty bad. Uh, dermalogical. Okay. Dermalogical. It doesn't sound right. I feel like I've heard it sound uh, said differently. Anyway, this is their daily micro microfoliant. So I got this to try out. Just a tiny one. Y'all can't see, but $85.39. We didn't have any idea that we was actually going to stop at Trader Joe's, but we did. And of course, we didn't have like our bags with the paper, a new bag or whatever to carry our groceries out. I'm going to be honest, this Trader Joe's specifically, I'm not a fan of. Like, it, it's kind of unorthodox. It didn't have a lot of the stuff that a normal Trader Joe's would have. Um, to say that it's pretty spacious, it didn't have a lot of inventory. Now we are, oh, this is much better. You can see me now. Yeah, um, we went out today. We went to Fleet Feet. Oh. Well, I'll show you guys once I get home. So I finally got my running shoes. Yay! We're gonna go to two different locations to get it, but you know, at least I have them now. So I'm gonna show you guys my new running shoes. My new sprinting shoes. Skr, 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 skr. Whatever. Um, and then I also do like a little mini grocery haul too. The things we got from Trader Joe's. Now we're going to go to Sprouts because like I said, Trader Joe's didn't have everything that we need. That we needed. We're also going to go to like a happy hour situation or something. But I got to get home and edit a bunch of stuff. And this morning we went back to Roman Empire. Y'all. It was a vibe. Some of the homegirls went. Like it was a whole vibe this morning. What kind of car is that? They drive on the right side in Jamaica. They drive on the right side in Jamaica. Yeah. What would you do if I just copied you all day every day? I would have to leave you. Not leave me. I was happy with you guys. Oh, sorry the footage wasn't that good also in Trader Joe's because I'm going to be honest, I was just like nervous. Like, never been to this one before. 
kind of felt kind of out of place. But I catch up in a bit. Save it on your toys. Maybe. What else would you to get? Oops. Did you want regular potato? No, just red potatoes is fine. We need fruit. I got some green grapes. What is it? It's not on the list. Oh. <laughs> I have them. Cucumber. We made it to Sprouts. Are you trying to push me over? Isn't this bag so cute? I'm trying to chose. Look at this. It's a cute one. So we have some kale, some spinach for his shakes, some more nanas, some brown eggs. Now this is new. So we got some granola bars, simply nutty bars, dark chocolate, peanut, and almond butter. And then dark chocolate, walnut, peanut butter, fig, and date bar. Whatever that is. I got some celery because I'm getting back into to the habit of juicing. I skipped like the last two weeks of juicing, so here we are. Some flax seed, some limes for juicing. Frozen berries for his shakes. Yeah, I know we like the kabuchas. This one is really good, like the pink lady apple. Really good. All right, so I know you guys told me like how to make a wash for my fruits and vegetables but i still wanted to try the trader joe's brand because we were out there already and y'all know it's like 30 minutes from me now so oops here is the fruit and best fruit and vegetable wash some lemons peanut butter some more berries uh yes yeah, more frozen berries Almond milk, which we hadn't got, we haven't gotten almond milk in so long, but that's for his shakes. Frozen strawberries. And I also got some grapes. They look so good. And another kabucha. And let me tell y'all, we had quesadillas last night. We made them at home. They slapped so. All right, like they were so good. So we're gonna make some more quesadillas tonight. I mean, we still have all the stuff for it. So I was like, why not make some more quesadillas in? But, all right, from sprouts, we pretty much got, you know, the Caesar salads. Okay, the chicken Caesar salads I've been eating. And note to self, if we're gonna go grocery shopping again on a Saturday, go in the morning and not in the evening. I had no idea, like, people go shop every single day. Like, obviously, yes, but I didn't know to that extent. Like, why are there so many things, like, missing? Some organic red potatoes. Ginger for the juice. Some more celery. Cucumbers as well for the juice. And then just some apples. Uh, I got green apples for the juice. And then I got, I don't know why this thing is so bright. I really don't know. I'm really going to get another lens, just not right now. And then we just wanted some apples to kind of like snack on. So... So remember I told you in my last vlog we went looking for some hokas um, and then a part of me I saw some uh, books that I wanted but I just went with hokas anyway. So we went to Fleet Feet today. Fleet Feet. And I really, that was really dope because I've never been to a shoe store where they like not only measure your feet but like pay attention to how you are walking, see what type of actual running shoes you need. And so it was a really dope experience, honestly. These are going to look so big, y'all. Like so big. But I normally wear, these look big as heck. It's given this is a 12 men's. No? Mm. They don't look like a 12 men's, y'all. But, uh. I like this colorway. I guess you want to size up some. I got a nine and a half. When normally I wear an eight and a half in women's. But I did what the man told me to do. And I walked around and I make sure they were okay. These are the Mach. Did I say it? The Mach. The Mach. My bad. Mach 5. And yeah. These are the ones I went with. I think they'll be cute for sprinting. Like I told you guys, I want to get back into sprinting and running. 
which I'm very excited about. And now I have no like reason not to. I have proper footwear. Who knew? Like, I mean, I knew, but like, who knew? You need, you need the right gear. I'll give you guys a like a update and let you know like my review and what I think of these. But in the store, they felt really comfortable. They're super light as well, which I really was digging because I tried these on and I also tried the is it Clifton with those other ones. Yeah, the Cliftons and these and the Cliftons were really comfortable too, but they were like a little heavier. But I just went with these, so I'll let you guys know how I like them. Let's see. And I am liking it, you know, more than I did at first. Let me see if I can get it again. Like she got me right. She did combine some over here, which we didn't talk about, so I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Let me see if I can show you guys the back. Okay, so here's the back. Hey friends, it's Friday. The most bestest time of the week, my favorite day of the week. It's Friday. Headed out to go get some groceries. It's Friday night and we're cooking shrimp and chicken Alfredo. I say we, but really my boyfriend, <laughs> he's the one cooking. I'm gonna be working on a prayer board. You guys probably saw like, I don't know what day it was. Oh yeah, it was Monday. I went to Target and bought some of the stuff. Well, I actually ended up not getting some of that stuff. And I'll show you guys when I get back when I'm actually working on it. But that is where I got the like the big board from. So tonight I'm gonna make a prayer board and I'm so excited. I've been waiting all week to do it. I know y'all are probably like, and why aren't your locks out? But before you say anything, like my locks are shy. They're not ready to be out all the time. They've actually been out since I got them retwisted on Monday. Um, but yeah, I'm just not 100% comfortable yet with them on camera so until then you'll probably see this hair which actually needs to be washed i don't think much has been going on i do have some actually some very very exciting news but i'm gonna wait and put that in next week's vlog so make sure you are subscribed so that you will get a notification well turn your notifications on <laughs> so that you will know when i post that video y'all my running shoes, so um, I've actually only sprinted once so far in them since I got in them. I'm gonna be honest, I can't really give a opinion yet. Like, let me get a few more runs in first, then I'll let you know. But so far, I me, mean, everything is going well, but I'm very, very hungry right now. And I actually need to go to Home Goods too, but I feel like it's gonna be busy over there tonight. So I might go tomorrow after the gym. And I'll take you guys with me. I need to pick up, I want some like bowl plates, plate bowls, bowl plates loads that's ugly okay i don't know a cute name for it but i just need like two of them so i'll try to go over there okay so i'm in the car right and i just need to say what is going on <laughs> what did you say i came here all day and that joke it was packed out i'm talking about like, it was bags all over the joint that's why that's how, I'm, I'm sure that's what, what also... i said that email out mm -hmm. yeah i said bro y'all lazy Yo, what is going on with global warming? Because like it is freezing today. It's 55 degrees right now at nighttime. And like it was just 70, 80 degrees in Houston. But it's like break. Well, it's low key break. It's windy. When you open the door, it was mad windy. Yo, I just came over here to say that real quick. 
wherever you're located, is it is is the weather being like extra extra up and down lately? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I ended up coming into Home Goods, and I kind of think these are the bowls I was looking for. I don't know because I kind of like the ones over here. Let's see. These, what do you guys think? These are cute too though, right? No, $4.99. And then I really do kind of like these. I think these might be too big. I really like these. I'm gonna get two of these. All right, but you guys know, I've also been eating salad bowls, like salads a lot lately. So I was like, should I get a bowl for my salad? Oh, this is a cute bowl. This is actually really cute. Only $7.99. Yeah, I know that I said I was like super hungry, but I had to stop at home because we were like passing right by it. Anyway, you guys saw like the, um, Ooh, not me touching my lip with my finger. Uh, the bowls and stuff that I found, I low-key wish I had found like, I wish it was just like an off-white instead of a white-white. Just like a tad bit off-white or a tan, a beige. I don't know. But I'm so happy with the uh, bowls and plates that we got. And I can't wait to show you them in the house. Um, have I really been sleeping on Home Goods? Because I like never go to Home Goods ever. And... I was about to get caught up in there for like 20 minutes just like looking at different stuff like oh I think I need this and this and maybe I need this I could possibly need this too but I was like stay focused stay focused we gotta hurry up and get groceries so yeah let me get into the car so we can get to sprouts and get dinner rolling y'all see this breeze I told you it was mad windy out here back at it again second time this week but we gotta eat I'm addicted to these this right here this one specifically, dark chocolate, nuts, and sea salt. This, addicted, addicted. All right, so I'm back home, as you can see. And it's time for the prayer board, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna show you all the board again. <clears throat> Here it is, I got it from Target. It was $9 and change for it and it also has on the back but like you can attach it to the wall but we actually might i think i actually might attach it to the wall and it comes with like little screw thingies it's just cork just cork i was waiting to open these on camera with y'all so i haven't seen okay i haven't seen what these look like I ordered these again instead of getting them out of Target. I just the ones in Target weren't giving me what I want. Like I want to actually enjoy what I'm looking at when I'm looking at my prayer board. I don't want just any old colors up there. So first, let's see. These are so cute. No, these are really cute. Like they're really cute. These are the push pins. And do y'all see like uh, how this is like a little clothes hanger thingy so you can just attach the cards there or you can push them in with the other ones. So I thought that was really dope. I hope it's focused. Cork board, but look. It has that little piece, the little tack that goes in and then. One second. You can clip. There's so many different ones. Oh, this one is so cute. Be careful because if you let one get away from you, somebody's foot about to be tore. And that one. I'm not gonna show you all of them, but they're super cute. I'll link them down below in case y'all wanna buy them. So I don't know if y'all know, but my favorite color is green. Yeah, these are cute. So I'm going for like a tan slash brown and green color sage. A little dark foresty, but I think those are cute. You have the plain stickies the ones that you can actually write like have lines on it so that you can write and then like the little tiny ones as well i'm gonna cut on some gospel music also like some worship music just so i can like be in his presence and and, and pray before i actually make this just because i want it to be very pure i want it to be very 
I don't know, just to be right, if that makes sense. Like, I just want it to be, to be right, to feel good, to feel right. And then I have one more thing. Oh, okay, 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 I know what this is. I also purchased some mustard seeds because, you know, faith, right? All you need to have is faith the size of a mustard seed. So on the back of the prayers, I'm going to tape a mustard seed. Then I also have my Bible out here and I have my like Bible journal. This is where like I take notes when I'm reading my Bible or where like I write down written prayers or talking to God. I'm excited. typically someone who like has to finish a project or something I'm working on in one setting like I don't like to come back and finish something another time or break it up I like to get it all done right then I will work on something five or six hours just to get it done but I really want this to be this is very intentional and this is very intimate and just it's it matters the time I put into this I don't want to rush it so I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a step back, and I'll probably work on this some more tomorrow. Um, I'm just—I mean, obviously, I'm not going to share what's on here, but I, I think it's coming along very nice. I like how the colors flow together—the tans and the browns, the greens. Um, the stays are not sticking. All right, let's just talk about that. So I'm having to use two push pins in order to get them to. But it's a start. Again, I don't want to rush it. I want to take my time and really go through this. So. As for now, it's not all the way done. And I'll finish it in the coming days um, as I feel and see scriptures and or prayers that I need to add come to me. A lot of times it's in the shower. I get a lot, a lot of downloads in the shower from God. So I'm happy that I started it. I like where it's at. Uh, this is actually going to be the end of this vlog because I'm pretty sure this is a long vlog at that. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me. I'll see you in next week's vlog. And I'm hungry. Big hungry. He's still cooking. It's 9.45 p.m. and we have not eaten dinner so I am hungry. Um, and I want to be able to think when I do this.